Hi kiddos, it's Riley, and I am back today with another age re video for you all. Before I get started today, I just wanted to remind you that I have merch. There's a link down in the description. You can click it and get yourself a sticker, a water bottle, a t-shirt, a bath mat. There is so many different things you can get. I hope you love the design. And now let's get into it. Today I wanted to talk to you about incorporating religion into your regression. I filmed this video once already, but the audio was completely messed up. I don't know why. So we're gonna try this again and pray that it's not messed up. Some people find a lot of comfort and safety within their religion in a very similar way that they do to regression. So mixing Adrian religion can amplify that feeling of comfort and safety. So in this video I wanted to give you four tips or ideas of things you can do in order to incorporate your religion into your regression. And of course all of these or some of them may not work for you. You'll have to find the things that do work for you. And if you are not religious that is totally okay. This video is not necessarily intended for you but you can stick around and watch if you want. Thing number one is to find children's media pertaining to your religion. A great example of this is Veggie Tales for Christian regressors and kids and I am not familiar with any other media similar to that for other religions but I'm sure there is some out there that exists. You can look for coloring books and coloring pages pertaining to your religion. I know that these definitely exist because I get a lot of Wicca, Pagan, and Witchcraft related coloring pages off of Google Images and you can just print them out and color them and it's a really awesome way to incorporate that into your regression. You can get spirituality based children's books so like Bible stories or stories about the old gods. There's a lot of different children's media out there for various religions. You just have to do a little bit of digging. Number two is to actively engage with your religion during your regression. So while regressed you could study or learn more about your religion. I like to do this. I like like to look up easy to swallow blurbs and information and read it. You could pray or worship if your religion includes a deity of some kind. And honestly, I find that being regressed while praying is very nice because it's almost like I'm not judging myself for doing so, which is something I do struggle with in my adult life. And another tip to go off of this is to have specific religious items for your regression. So I have specific pacifiers that are witchcraft related that I like to use when I am doing spiritual stuff in regression. You could have a specific cross or talisman that you wear when you're regressed. Maybe certain clothing. You could have a regression specific a religious book like a bible or a notebook journal where you record religious thoughts, information, but where it's separate from your adult work and studies regarding religion. Tip number three is to connect with other regressors that share your religion. This is a lot easier than you may think it is. Instagram is a wonderful place to do this. There are so many regressors that have varying religions on Instagram and there's so many people you can meet from all walks of life and similar walks of life to your own. It's really awesome. I'm mutuals with a few awesome witchy regressors. I'm mutuals with some Christian regressors, some Catholic regressors, some Muslim regressors. There are a lot of regressors out there who have different religions and if you can just make a post on Instagram on your story, on your feed saying, hey I'm looking for more regressor friends that have this religion and I'm sure you'll get a lot of responses. And if you don't, maybe ask a friend to share around and ask around if anybody they know also shares your religion. And finally, tip number four is to do what feels right to you. Everyone and their experience with religion and regression is different, and that's okay. Incorporate as little or as much of your religion into regression as you want. After all, it is your regression and your religion, and it's up to you what you choose to do with that. Don't force yourself to mix the two if it's not something you want. And 
and on the opposite end, don't force yourself to not practice while regressed if it is something you desire. Most importantly, be open to viewing your religion from the wondrous eyes of a child's perspective. It'll really help you learn a lot and connect on a deeper level with what you believe. So those were just a few ideas on how you can incorporate your religion into your regression. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe because I post over here a couple of times a week. I also have a main channel and a vlog channel where I post non-regression content that are linked in the description. If you want to keep up with me at day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. Don't forget about the merch. I'm so excited about the merch. If you want to help support me and my content, I have a Ko-Fi linked down below as well, where you can leave me a tip for just the price of a coffee, and those really help me out. Or you can just let my ads play through for a while on here or my main channel. That works too. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.